Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to disable guest browsing mode in the Google Chrome web browser. So, assuming you are running Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 10 professional or higher editions, this tutorial will apply for you because unfortunately the group policy editor that we are going in is not available in Windows 10 Home Edition. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Just left click on the Start button one time. Type in Local Group Policy. And one of the best matches should come back with Edit Group Policy. So go ahead and left click on that. I'm going to just make this window a little wider here. And you want to go underneath Computer Configuration now and right click on the Administrative Templates folder. Select Add slash Remove Templates. And now select the Add button. So before we proceed, we're going to go ahead and open up a web browser. So just keep it right here, right where the policy templates window is. And we're going to open up a web browser. I'm going to open up Google Chrome for this tutorial. I will have a link to a web page in the description video I want you guys to go on to. It's a Chrome web page here. It's going to have the policies that we're going to need in order to set this up. and right click and paste in the web address and we're going to go search it up. You see it says cloud.google.com and then followed by the rest of the address. So scroll down on this page a little bit. It should say download Chrome browser. We're going to go ahead and actually make this web page a little bigger here. You want to select the appropriate download for your computer. Most people are probably going to be downloading the 64-bit bundle. In my case, I'm on a 32-bit operating system, so I'm going to select a 32-bit download. Most of you guys are probably going to download the 64-bit one, so just please download the correct version there or it won't work. Somebody will not follow that direction, but I can only state it so clearly. So anyway, we're going to accept and download. It's about 61 megabytes, so hopefully it shouldn't take too long for you guys. So once that's done downloading, now you want to open up the compressed file that just downloaded here. We're going to go minimize out of the web browser, and then we're going to take this configuration folder and just drag it over to the desktop. So now you see our configuration folders on our desktop now. So now that we're back in the policy templates folder, now that we've minimized out of everything, just scroll up and select desktop, and then double click on the configuration folder. That should be something that says ADM, go ahead and double click on that, and then locate your local version or language. So most people are just going to be EN minus US. If you're in Great Britain, you can select the EN minus GB. So pretty straightforward. So we're going to select the US version. So I clicked on the wrong one there. So EN minus US. And now there should be something that says Chrome.ADM. Select Open, and then select Add. And then we're just going to select that. So pretty much looks like we already copied it in there. And then just select close. Now you want to expand the administrative templates folder. Double click on it or left click on next to it. Now it should be something that says classic administrative templates ADM. Expand that. 
should be something that says Google under here, expand that one as well. And that should be something that says Google Chrome. Go ahead and just left click on that one time. And now on the right side, you want to locate the enable guest mode in browser. Right here, double click on that. You want to set this over to disabled. So we're going to be turning off guest mode. Select apply and OK. And so once you've done that, if you close out of here, restart your computer, guest mode browsing has been disabled in Google Chrome. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.